I'm almost to Cochrane now, about maybe 70, 60 or 70 clicks south of Cochrane. Um, I'm hoping it's going to turn left soon. Uh, I've been going mile after mile trying to find a place to get something to eat and trying to find any kind of grocery store and everything's been closed. So it looks like uh, the COVID scare has really shut everything down out around here. So fortunately I found this country style market and it says they've got food and meat and uh, maybe even something to eat. So maybe I finally found a little oasis in the middle of the desert. Well, I did get some groceries, something to cook for tonight, but there is no restaurant of any sort and the locals don't even know of any restaurant that's open right now. Another 30 or 40 clicks is Iroquois Falls and uh, I'm hoping for at least a Tim Horton there that'll be open. Then I could like grab a sandwich at least anyway and a cup of tea. And then I do have some meat and some vegetables for tonight. So hopefully that'll keep me going. And uh, we just need something to eat for today. Other than that, i am pretty much got everything else I need. Uh, hopefully the bike's okay. That check engine light is still on, but I still think it's the oil sensor. Because it went out when I took it off the center stand, or I put it on the center stand. Took it off the center stand, it went on. So, I mean, I, I put a little more oil in there. It's reading above max now, so I don't want to push it and put too much oil in and screw it up. So, let's just hope she keeps running good. Um, other than that, let's keep on rolling down the road and uh, hope we get to where we're going. Maybe 25 clicks west of Cochrane right now so I didn't even know I was gonna make go as far as Cochrane but I guess you have to to hit the uh, highway 11 so we've now finally made it to highway 11 which is my new northern adventure that I'm doing this is gonna top my last great ride the north tour and, and now this one's gonna be even more because this is the farthest north highway in this part of Ontario anyway like near Cochrane that you can go east and west. So from here north, there's no more roads. It's just all bush. So we're really into the wilds. So I pulled over here because as soon as I hit Cochrane and hung a left, all of a sudden our clear sunny skies are starting to go away. And it's starting to look like rain clouds are moving in. I've already hit a few drops of rain and I think, okay, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna switch down to uh, take the coat off, put the rain gear on. So that's what I'm doing here, and uh, I'm at a little pullover spot, so I might as well uh, quick use the privy, get the rain gear on, and then at least I'll be ready if I hit the rain. Hey, it wouldn't be a northern trip if you didn't hit some rain. Landed at Rene Brunel. Now, Rene Brunel, I got another crappy site, but it's okay, I fixed it. This site here is swarming with bugs, and it's very rough gravel from cars that have been coming in and out, I guess, while it's muddy, and there's all rut marks and rough gravel, and it would have been hard on, on the tent to put the tent on the ground and sleep on that. So I went and asked, and because we're far enough north, they do have blank spots and I looked across here and I said well is anybody in 23 and they said nope and I said well that looks a whole lot better for me because as you can see 
I might be backing onto the neighbors there. That's not too bad. But as you can see, if you look down here, it's nice, soft, kind of mossy. Um, it's been mossy, overgrown, soft dirt. And that's going to be a lot nicer for putting the tent on, this nice, soft, cushy spot. And it's nice and level and wide in front of the fire. So this is definitely a much better spot. So I'm just moving across. And then I'll tune in again once I get things going. I gotta get some shorts on here and I might even be able to run down for a swim on the bike. See you later.